Hello everyone, Yali here. I hope everybody is doing okay and that you guys are staying safe and your family is healthy. Um, today I am going to show you in this video how to put your press on nails once you get uh, your order from me. Um, I'm going to show you um, how to put them on. It's so easy, it's, it's a simple tutorial. Um, here are the ones that I made for myself. Look at this, pretty. And let me tell you, um, making press on nails is a lot of fun. I get to work from home and make any designs and go crazy and nail art and colors and the whole thing. And I get to talk to you guys and get your customized orders out. Um, but nothing replaces you guys coming here and talking to me and I just get to spend time with you. I get to, you know, talk to you and just build a relationship. I miss the one-on-one -on -one interaction. So you guys know how much I miss you. I'm checking with you every week um, and I'm keeping you updated um, as what's gonna happen, you know, once the salon uh, officially opens. Uh, but anyway, jump into the tutorial. Um, here are some nails that I made for myself. They're already sized and I just wanted to do something very like spring-like and so I use my favorite color which is this beautiful, oh my gosh it's so gorgeous, this beautiful lavender. Um, the colors are right here, it's from Madame Glam. Um, so the lavender color is called The Only One and the holographic purple as you can see here is called Ho Ho Hollow. <laughs> So it's a, it, they're just a, a perfect pair. And then for glitter, I used this glitter that was sent to me by Wildflowers Nails. So thank you guys, it's gorgeous. Um, it's just very iridescent and it will go with anything, pretty much anything um, that you put on. So um, like I said, this is already sized. So if you want your press on nails, I will send you a little kit to, for you to size your nails and then once you know your number I'll just customize it for you. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because if I don't know your size I will have to build a set of 24 nails um, and then you go at home and you size them the, the way you know you size them and then you tell me what fit what didn't fit and then I'll make your customized order. The problem with that is 24 nails take a lot of time and product. So I'd rather for you guys to just size it at home, let me know your number, and then I will make it for you and it will take me less time than doing the 24. But whatever works, right? Okay, so anyway, what you need is your nails, you need a, a cuticle pusher. Um, if you buy the kit from me, it already has a cuticle pusher, a buffer, a nail file, and some lint-free wipes. Um, so here's my cuticle pusher, um, a little buffer, um, my lint-free wipes, and it's very important that you use lint-free because if you use cotton, all that fuss, it just gets stuck in your uh, nails, and we don't, we don't want that. Fuzz is the arch enemy of nail techs. Anybody that does nails knows what I'm talking about, so lint-free is the best. Um, so that's included in the... Uh, kit and then here I get my file it's a hundred and 180 grit um, so not too abrasive um, and that's included in your kit as well um, all right so <clears throat> oh and your glue of course <laughs> the glue that I'm using is wildflowers I really like this glue because it is a brush on glue right here um, and it's really really good so first of all what you're gonna make sure is that your nails don't have any enhancement at all. Meaning if you have acrylics or if you have gel, hard gel, you need to get that off of your nails. Um, the reason why is one, when you put your nails, they're gonna look bulky because you already have product, plus you put the nail on top of it, it's just gonna look way, way thick. So you just wanna make sure that your nail is completely, um, you know, all naked all and natural. So no product on top. So once you do that, I'm gonna make a video on how to remove your nails safely. I already made one, it's in the salons page. If you follow Image Makers Hairstyling, if you don't, then go ahead and follow them. 
Um, but I will make another one and post it on my Instagram and YouTube as well. But there's tons and tons of uh, videos on YouTube on how to remove enhancements safely. Um, so check that out. So once you do that, come back to the video. <laughs> the second thing is wash your hands with soap. You want every dirt out of your nails and your fingertips. Then after you do that, I'm just going to move here. You're going to take your cuticle pusher and you're just going to go ahead and push your cuticle. And you're going to do it very gently. You don't want to angle your cuticle pusher like that. You just want to um, make sure it's flush. You see that? That angle right there? Just like parallel to the cuticle. So just really gently just push it. And if it's hurting, you're doing it too rough. It, this should not hurt. It might feel weird because you're just pushing the skin back and you're exposing the nail that has grown. The reason we want to do that is because we want our uh, tip to, um, our press on nails to uh, fit uh, correctly. So I'm going to show you an example. So now that I push my cuticle, you have your nail. As you can see here, if I put it on, it just nuggles so easily. Look at that. Just perfect. But if you don't push your cuticle, I'm going to use this one here. So I haven't pushed the cuticle on this one, right? If I put it on, look how weird that looks. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's like the cuticle is strapped underneath the press-on. And what happens is, with the skin being underneath the tip like that, your natural oils are going to get underneath and it's going to pop that nail off. So you just want to make sure you expose your, uh, your new nail and you're pushing the cuticle back. Okay? So once you do that in all your nails, very gently, even on the side walls, just like, just like so. Okay. And on the other side of the cuticle um, thing that I have, um, it, there's a little scraper for uh, just to kind of scrape the dead skin on your nail plate. You could use it. I just don't like it because you could hurt yourself doing that. Like here, I have a little piece of skin, so you just want to scrape that lightly, not a lot of pressure. Just take it off. If you don't take it off, do not despair because you're going to go in with the buffer and you're going to clean all that. Okay? So take your buffer right here. There's two sides of it. So just Feel it, and the one that is a little bit smoother is going to be the one that you're going to use. And the buffer is to remove all the shine from the nail plate. So you're just going to buff it slightly, just one direction. You're going to get close to the cuticle and remove any skin that is attached to the nail. We want to take all that shine away. You don't have to go too crazy, too rough on it. Just very lightly in one motion. If you get to the cuticle, just do like a round motion. See that little skin that I had? I'm taking it away. And don't do too much because the, uh, the more you buff your nail, the thinner it's going to get. And it just causes damage. So um, please don't do that. And here I go again. And I'm just buffing that extra skin that I had on my cuticle. Just lightly. Okay. All right. You could also file your nails to make them short. You could um, make them a little round so your corners don't show underneath the nail. That's what the file is for. Right now, because my nails are so short, there's no need of, you know, shortening them. They're okay the way they are. Okay. Just taking the shine away. See the difference? This nail, it's not buffed, this one is. See the shine? That's from your oils, your nail oil, everything else. Oh, I can't see myself, so I'm just gonna do it behind camera really quick. Perfect. Okay. So after that, you're just, they're buffed and everything. You, you're gonna go ahead and take your uh, wipe and you're gonna use acetone or alcohol. It's up to you. I'm using alcohol. I know alcohol is a little scarce nowadays, so you can use acetone, no problem. 
See, and just get all that dust away from your nails. And you're not gonna, if you see that, I'm not cleansing up, I'm cleansing down because you want that um, dust to come out. You don't want it to accumulate in the cuticle area. So come a mistake. Okay, they're clean. They're very dry, so they're gonna look a little chalky, but they're clean, okay? Um, like I said, I don't need to file anything because they're already short as it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tip. I'm gonna move it here because I need to see. Instead, I'm gonna put those beautiful colors right here for your enjoyment <laughs> and the glitter just because it's so pretty. Okay, so before you glue anything, you're gonna take your tip and you're gonna practice how you're gonna put it on. So see how I'm putting it against the cuticle? So here we go, it fits perfectly. What you wanna look um, when sizing your nails is once they're against the cuticle, you're gonna look on the sides and you're just gonna make sure that your natural nail doesn't pop, doesn't show. If you're putting your tip, and for example, it looks like this, the tip is too short, okay? Or maybe you're, you're putting it on one side more than the other. So just make sure it's not right there. So see on the other side too? If it's looking this way, it's not good. It's too short. If it's looking, if it's, okay, so if it's looking this way, then it's too big. You want it to fit almost perfectly. Don't show anything on the sides and also not too big because does that look normal no it doesn't it just looks like you have a huge nail <laughs> so snug it right there okay and do that for everybody else to see how mine just just fits perfectly so once you do that you're going to grab your glue and again make sure if you have to wipe your nails again because you touch them oh by the way every time you touch your nails with your other hand you transfer oils, so it's very important that you keep them clean, oil-free. So you take your brush. You don't need a lot, but you need to work quickly. So you're gonna brush it to your nail. Okay, once you do that, it's gonna put a little drop right there. And again, the way we practice, just put it on and press. While I'm waiting for that to dry, a few things. You don't have to put a lot of glue because then it will bleed out and you'll have glue all over your skin and that's no bueno, it's not good. <laughs> you can develop allergies, um, you can get very irritated, it will look weird, you will have to file it off and accidentally file your nail. It just creates a lot of hazards, so just a little bit, okay? And the reason why your nails need to be completely clean is because if you have any enhancement like acrylic or gel and you put this glue on top of it, okay, this glue is so strong that it will bond with your enhancement and then there is no way you're going to get that out, okay? And I shouldn't say it's no way, it's just it's gonna be very difficult. When you soak them off, it's gonna take way longer than your normal soak off. Okay, so make sure they're clean. I cannot repeat that enough. All right, so just a few seconds, and I'm pinching on the sides to make sure it's snug really nicely. And look, it's done. Woo, how cool is that? It's super strong. I'm pressing so hard, and it's not coming off. How amazing is that? That's a beautiful nail right there. Okay, let's do the second one. So again, brush it on my nail. Like if I'm paint, if I'm polishing them, make sure I get the sidewalls and the free edge. A little dot in the middle. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I need to work fast. And I keep my, I keep looking myself in the video. <laughs> and just press, 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 press. Just for a few seconds. Cue the elevator music. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Look how beautiful that looks. Look at that. Just perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, a lot of people will ask, why are you not using the glue tabs? Well, there's a perfect explanation for that. I have the glue tabs somewhere here, but I, they're not reachable, so. The glue tabs, um, they work if you are looking to get press-ons for a one-time event and you just wanna use them once, glue tabs are perfect for you because they come off with water and soap and it's just very easy. But if you want your nails to last for two weeks, then you need your nail glue. And that's the difference between both of them, okay? Are you guys liking the color? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Makes me happy. Okay, so I'm not looking pretty already. Oh my gosh, I wonder who's my nail tech. Oh, yeah. All right, number four. This nail is so funny. I should have um, showed you, but if you were to notice um, this nail, that I'm putting this nail right now, um, <clears throat> I have a little scar and my nail grows with a line across. <laughs> and the reason was uh, when I was a little kid, I was very curious, but anyway, um, I had a bike and I think I was very bored because I cannot find another reason why would I do this. But I guess I was bored and I took my bike, I put it upside down. I started pedaling my bike. And by some reason, I thought that st sticking my nail <laughs> to the running wheel was a good idea and my whole nail came off. Oh my gosh, there was blood everywhere. And I started screaming and crying. My mom panicked. So they took me to the hospital. But, um, you know, it was, it was okay. But since then, my nail grows like that. It's like a little scar. It's just funny. Oh my gosh, I love that color. <gasps> yes. Okay. Remember to pinch the sides. So you get that nice curve. Oh, and also um, this nail grows crooked. <laughs> like my finger is crooked since then. That's funny. We all have a nail story, I guess. Something that I do on my tips is that I buff them inside. So when you put your glue, it adheres really well because the tip is um, buffed inside. By some reason, glue and bunders like anything that is roughed. <laughs> nothing smooth, nothing, nothing shiny, it has to be roughed. Do you see how easy this is? I mean, I've taken, this video has been 18 minutes but it's because I don't stop talking. But if you were to do it at home, it's just so easy, so fast shouldn't take that long. Leave the hard part to me, which is making your nails. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let me just move everything. Oh, make sure you seal your glue nice and tight because once this dries, uh, it's, you're done. You will need to order a new glue. It's not good. Okay, OMG. Does that look like they're fake nails? I don't think so, my friend. Look how beautiful. And look, they're so sturdy, like I'm putting pressure and nothing. Look at that. Just so, so, so pretty. Now, the shapes that I have are um, this long almond uh, here. Let me get the other ones that I did. Um, oh, sorry for the whole background noise. Where did I put them? Oh well, I'll post a picture I think once I'm over with it. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
So the sizes that I have right now are a small, a short round tip, a short square, which is one of the most requested ones, the almond that I'm wearing, this gorgeous, gorgeous stiletto. And I have a longer stiletto to here, and I think a little bit longer than that. So I have that too in this cuffing or ballerina one. And I also have it, uh, the long ones too. So these are pretty much standard. So um, square, just, you know, just a little bit. It's just short compared to my almond. Really nicely. I'll, I'll just post more pictures so you can see. But those are the sizes right now. So um, to order, just shoot me a DM or email. I'm still building my website. Um, and first, um, I will do um, deliveries. If you are in Portland or Vancouver area, um, I'll just deliver it to you right into your door. You don't have to, you know see me because of the social distancing just I'll just drop it in your mailbox if you want to um, I can also ship it to you if you want to as well um, it's just you know everything has been delayed but um, if you're not in Oregon or uh, Washington I could definitely ship it no problem um, so I would strongly suggest that you order your sizing kit then once you know your um, sizes just send it back to me then I'll create your tips, let you know, set up a time to deliver or ship. And then um, I'll include everything uh, with the nails. So details about pricing and what includes and everything, all that is going to be listed on uh, Instagram. Uh, you have the option of buying like the whole set with the glue file and everything that you need. Um, if you have stuff at home that you want to use, then... Um, you have the option to buy the, just the nails, um, but very important to do the sizing. If not, I will have to do the 24 tips, and that's going to cost a little bit more just because it's more, more work. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think, and as you can see, man, they're sturdy. And look at that. They don't bend. Like, I'm putting a lot of pressure and nothing. All right, well, I'll take a picture of these gorgeous nubbies and I will keep you guys posted. I'll make some other videos with more instructions to follow. So if you have any questions or anything like that, please leave a comment, DM me, text me, call me, whatever you need, okay? I'll see you guys soon. Please stay safe and I love you all. I miss you all and I cannot wait to see you. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Okay, focus. All right, bye guys.